Good morning, Buyer families. This is Mr. Park coming to you live from Buyer High School. Uh, this is Friday's updates, the last one before winter break starts. Let's do a little congratulations to three students who were elected to school site council. As you recall, we recently had an election. Students could nominate themselves. I believe there were 12 students who did nominate themselves. And then the student body selected the three following students to serve on Buyer's school site council. Elected to the school site council were Abby Polak, Ava Infantino and Ashlyn Munoz. Congratulations to these three students. Santa and his little helper, Ms. Mayer, will be coming to three students' homes today who were nominated and received Student of the Month recognition. Those three students are David Rodriguez Castillo, nominated by Mrs. Cruz. Congratulations, David. Uh, Olivia Rogers, nominated by Mrs. Dahl and Theo Miller, also nominated by Mrs. Dahl. Great job, students. Now, you're probably wondering when Mrs. Uh, Mr. Park and Mr. Mayor come out to the house, what actually happens? Well, each of the students who are receiving recognition for Student of the Month receive three things. They receive a gift certificate. They also receive a little certificate signed by Mr. Parks and Ms. Mayor recognizing the work they've done and their recognition as a Student of the Month. And they also receive this very nice student of the month yard sign that they can place in their yard and announce to all their neighbors what an outstanding student they have been. Congratulations again to those students. This is the Hydra sticker that was mailed out to 636 Byers Renaissance students just recently. They should be receiving them very soon. Mr. Park, I didn't receive a Hydra sticker. How come? Well, because you weren't a, a Renaissance student. Mr. Park, how can I be a Renaissance student? Glad you asked. There's several ways you can be, but the easiest way to be a Renaissance student is to come to school every day, every period. Don't miss. If you come to school every day, every period of the next quarter, the third quarter, you too will be a Renaissance student. If you increase your grades, you can be a Renaissance student. And then, of course, good grades can also earn you Renaissance status. There's several ways to do it. The simplest is do not miss school at any time during the third quarter and you will be a Renaissance student. You too could have something like this. There's only 636 students that received the Hydra Flask. Do you know that people from all over the world are calling one, one of these? I got phone calls from Kazakhstan, Russia, France, even a polar bear in South uh, in Antarctica called and wanted one. Polar bears, they don't have Hydra Flask. They try to stick it on their fur. It gets all stuck. It's a mess. So I've denied all of them. Only 636 students received one of these congratulations and for the rest of you work hard next quarter and you can be a renaissance student while we're talking about coming to school every day let's remind you about the perfect attendance incentive program we have starting in january now there's only 14 school days in january you come back on the 11th there's a vacation day on the 18th so there's only 14 school days but if you come every period of every day and every day for the month of January, 14 days, your name will go into a drawing. Now, what are you being drawn for, Mr. Parks? What are the gift certificates? What are the gifts that are being drawn for? Well, 50 students will receive a gift certificate. 50, five dollars each. Um, then there's large ticket items like AirPods, TVs, skateboard. Some student will even receive Mr. Parks' personal video on how to skateboard. There will be um, also gift certificates to large retail stores like Nike. So you want to be in school every period of every day starting in the month of January. Also remember in January, we're starting the New Year, New You. Now let's be real, some of you failed classes in the first semester. There's not a lot you can do about it at this point. However, we need to look to the future. And starting in January, the, if you received one or more Fs in the first semester, if you will receive zero Fs on your third quarter progress report, in other words, third quarter progress report, there are zero Fs on your progress report, your name will go into a drawing as well. Again, for some of the same kinds of items, TVs, skateboards, great gift certificates to retail stores. I'm wanting you to get the idea that you can start over, reset, forget what happened in the past, look to the future, get all your classes passing by third quarter progress report, and your name will go in a drawing. We want you to be very successful. 
Finally, a big thank you to all the students who voted for Mr. Park to receive the ugliest Christmas sweater award. It was well-deserved. My sweater was hideous. Also, congratulations to Miss Beatty and Miss Rowan, who were runner-ups. They were runner-ups. Everybody can't be a winner, but they were runner-ups. Thank you for participating and uh, making those selections. I just want to say to all the Beyer family and staff, I want to wish you a wonderful holiday. Take care. Be safe. Be thankful that you don't have to stare at a computer screen for 12 hours a day. Take the next three weeks and unwind and enjoy. And finally, I have another um, one of our friends coming to share a couple of suggestions with you for the winter break, and that's Mr. Barry Jackson. I'm going to vacate. Mr. Jackson's going to take the seat. And at the end of Mr. Jackson's little presentation, we're going to sign off. But again, have a great holiday. Well, thank you, Mr. Park. Uh, he's our grand exalted poovah here at Byer High School. So uh, I really, uh, I think I'd pay to see him skateboard. That's all I'm saying. Um, couple of things to remember for the break. And I say this every year to the kids that I uh, see right before break is that you want to have a good break. You want to come back and feel like you've been recharged have a better attitude about things. We're all kind of exhausted and just kind of worn out by everything, right? So a couple of things remember, don't sleep in, sleep in a little bit. Give yourself an extra hour from when you normally get up during the school year, but don't sleep till noon. Don't, don't just let the break go away. Have some kind of a little routine, go outside every day, be active. Don't just play video games. Don't just be on your computer. Don't just watch videos in bed all day. You will have a horrible break. You'll come back and you'll feel even worse than you do right now. So Mr. Park had good advice. Put the first semester behind you. Let's learn from good habits and bad habits. Let's move forward. Let's have balance in our life. Let's get some sunshine, get moving. You don't have to go out and run a marathon, but get out there and walk, walk the dog, take your mom outside, go over to grandma's house, uh, do some good deeds for a elderly neighbor. Do something that gets you out of bed and out of your room every day early, not at noon, not at two o'clock. So you'll feel better. We'll have a better next semester. Um, have a really great break and I'll see you guys soon.